go to front plane right click sketch then go to center rectangle and click the origin point and make a rectangle then go to dimension small dimension and make dimension for uh, 1400 and this side also to be 1400 it is 1400 square okay then go to fillet and fillet to radius for uh, you make half 699 1 mm gap to be maintained so we make for 699 and make fillet for all the side both four sides and here also okay then exit click ok then make a center line make sure you select the origin point and make a line and offset this line for minimum 1 mm is enough so we go for 0.5 and 0.5 both direction so click the bi-directional and select this line so we will get uh, the 1 mm 1 mm gap so select this line and click for construction then go to trim and trim these lines inside the one so we will get 1 mm gap this 1 mm gap for flattening purpose then exit the sketch then you no need to go to everywhere by clicking sketch feature you can roll your mouse then go to reference geometry click a plane then select the plane I click the front plane I am going to flip this and for the length of 1 meter 1000 mm okay then select the plane right click sketch and give normal I go to normal and make a rectangle again center rectangle again make a center rectangle and make sure you select the origin center rectangle this rectangle to be same one 1400 both side to be 1400 this also square one this transition for round to square 1400 dia and 1400 square then make a fillet go to fillet and make a fillet for the minimum 10 mm is enough make 10 mm radius and fillet for all corners four corners and click ok then go to line and same thing has to do here click the same origin and make a line if you want to pan it go and click pan and pan it and select this line you have to offset this line go to offset and select this line and same 0.5 and make sure this bi-directional to be click and offset for 0.5 mm and make this line to be for construction then go to trim and trim the line inside the line ok then click ok now you check this one both are in the same direction ok exit this sketch then go to sheet metal and loft bend this ok and select this point this end point and this end point and make sure your bend to be increase your bend it depend upon your your drawing click this end point and this end point ok this, are, this is done you make sure your thickness to be what thickness you want I go for 6 mm thick and I and I reverse my direction and click ok that's it 
hide this clip. This is our transition. If you want to flatten this, click the object and go for flatten. You will get this flattened object. And thanks for watching.